Hello everybody and welcome to Langer's Legion. I'm Langer and let's talk Star Wars Legion. And in this video we're going to talk about some rules and more specifically the attack phase. So let's get into it. Hello everybody and I thought in this video I would cover the various steps of the attack phase. And this is a first of its kind of a video on my channel where I actually dive into the rule set as it relates to how to play Star Wars Legion. And if this is something you all would like to see more of, you know, please leave a like or, you know, post a comment down below. Uh, I thought about talking about Coptics of such cover and, you know, uh, round zero tactics and so on and so forth. So your thoughts and insight would be helpful on finding out if you know you think these videos are helpful and if so i'll keep creating them so like i said the first rule or kind of mechanic i'm going to t tackle is the attack phase now if you're new to star wars legion and you're watching people play on a stream or at your local lgs when you see how they throw the dice around and mod you know start switching the dice or picking dice up it can seem pretty complicated because there's a lot of actions going on, no pun intended, as it relates to keywords, and you might hear a surge to crit and these other things, but really once you kind of learn these various steps and get a couple reps on your belt, it's actually pretty simple. It's just more about being familiar with the keywords that you have on the units in your army and where within these you know attack phase steps that they lie. Speaking of the attack phase steps, there's really kind of nine of them, and there's actually sub-steps I would refer to in each of those nine. But the nine steps are declare defenders, form an attack pool, declare additional fenders, roll attack dice, apply dodge and cover, roll defense dice, modified defense dice, and then just, you know, kind of compare results, you know, as based at the end, right? Just basically, how many wounds are you going to take, if any at all? Now, for this video, I won't cover the first three steps of the attack phase because that will be a video all on its own because it does relate to cover rules and how you know units positioned on the map or behind cover or line of sight comes into play. And that's just a topic that's gonna to be so much easier to cover in an additional video. So where I thought I would start would be in the, let's assume we've done all that stuff and now we're getting ready to actually throw the attack dice. Now, the first step of the atta uh, roll attack dice phase, is, it's pretty easy, you just, roll the attack dice. So let's say you have an attack pool that's got five red dice. You throw the red the red dice and let's say you get a mixture of hits and crits and blanks. But then after that, that's where these sub steps kind of come in as I will mention before for each of these overall steps. So after you roll the additional or the, the first set of dice, if you have an aim token, which is a green token, you can acquire multiple different ways within the game. You can pick up two of those dice and then re-roll them. So if you got any blanks, or maybe you don't surge to hit or crit, and you've got some surges, you pick those dice up, you just re-roll them. Now, after that, if you do have targeting scopes or the precise keyword, you can pick up additional dice to re-roll. So I'm an Empire player, I use Stormtroopers, and Stormtroopers are precise one. Only Imperial Stormtroopers are so precise. So when I give them an aim token, if I want to re-roll any of those attack dice with precise one, I can pick up three of those tokens or three of those dice and just roll them back out. So that's kind of step one in the uh, re-roll attack dice. From there, it's convert surges. So if you look at your unit cards, certain units have surge to hit, surge to crit, but either way you have, or you maybe have surge tokens if you're a clone player, you have an ability to take those surges that you roll on those dice and turn those to hits. The next keyword or action that you would use under the convert attack surges part of the, the attack dice step is critical. So some units like the rebels or uh, the shore, uh, shore troopers with their heavy have critical X keywords on their command cards. And I think the rebels is critical too, which means if you throw those attack dice out and you roll you know, two surges, you get to convert those to crits before, you know, the defender gets into any of the next steps. So anytime you have a way to modify attack dice before it gets to the defender is always a bonus. And really critical is one of the, the first ones. And the second one would be marksman. Now marksman is usually on, let's call them more of the sniper type units or long range units. But what that allows them to do is if you have the marksman keyword is you can spend aim tokens 
to change or improve the attack dice results. Meaning if I throw, I have one aim token and I throw a hit, I can spin the aim token to convert that to a crit. Or let's say I have two aim tokens and I throw a blank. I can actually use both those aim tokens just to turn that to a crit as opposed to re-rolling them. So those are the keywords and steps in the convert attack surges portion of the uh, roll attack dice phase. So once you've done all that as the attacker, you then get into the next step, which is the apply, dodge, and cover. But let's just assume you've dis discussed cover with your opponent and the unit you're attacking is going to get, let's say, heavy cover. So if I'm the defender and I have heavy cover and the attacker throws, let's say, four hits, not crits, but four hits, I get to cancel two of those hit results because I'm behind heavy cover. If I was behind light cover, I'd cancel one of those. Now, on top of that, and if you have the low profile keyword on your unit, let's say you're playing the Ewoks, you get to cancel one additional hit. So really, you kind of get, if you're in light cover, you really get cover two. And even though this doesn't really exist in the game, if you're in heavy cover, you really get cover three. So take out the cover, then you've got low profile. Next is if you have any dodge tokens. So if you have dodge tokens, you can cancel out any hit results. So if you've got two dodge tokens and I hit you with three shots, you can cancel two of those with the dodge tokens. Now beyond kind of dodge tokens and cover, there are a couple keyword uh, abilities that can also help with this phase. First one being outmaneuver. Outmaneuver is an upgrade card that you can stick on your units that will allow you to spend, the, spend those dodge tokens to cancel crits. So dodge tokens can only be used for regular hits, but if you have outmaneuver, you can cancel crits. The next up is more from the attacker side is if you have the keyword of sharpshooter. Sharpshooter lets you reduce the amount of cover that a unit would have. So if you have sharpshooter one, you would take heavy cover down to light. If you're in light cover, if your defender's in light cover, you would take them down to no cover. Now the key thing here to think about in our, like I talked about in our examples, if I have low profile and I'm behind light cover, if somebody has sharp shooter one, if they take away my light cover, low profile does not kick in because low profile assumes that you have cover. So just be mindful of that as a, both as a defender as well as an attacker if you have the sharpshooter keyword. And next, from the attacker's perspective, you have high velocity. Now, high velocity basically means if you have that only weapon in the attack pool, specifically I think about like Empire Scout Troopers with their long range sniper, if you have high velocity keyword, the defender cannot use dodge tokens, nor can, if they're a Jedi, can they use deflect. So this is a good way to you know, kind of punch through or shoot through defensive mechanics or defensive tech that your the defending units might have. Now, after we've done the attacks, we've done the cover, now you go back into the attacker's area to modify the attack dice. And there's a couple of keywords here that we're probably going to see a lot of. The first one being impact. Now, impact is a keyword that allows you to take hits after cover and turn those hits into crits if attacking vehicles with the armor keyword. So whether it's armor itself or maybe they're armor one or armor two, if you attack a unit and you've got the impact keyword that has armor, if it's impact two, you can take two hits and convert those to crits, which means they'll go through the armor. If you have impact three, roll three hits, those get turned to crits and that will go through the armor. Next is lethal. Now, lethal kind of plays on two keywords, really. Lethal allows you to spend aim tokens to give you pierce. So if I have lethal two, I can spend two aim tokens that lets me get to pierce two. Now, the benefit of that is pierce um, by itself, and we'll get into this later on, units can't... Uh, there can't be blocked. So if, if I throw uh, Pierce 2 at you and I hit you with two hits, even if you block both of those, since I'm Pierce 2, I'll go through those blocks. So Pierce is a really deadly kind of keyword to have as it kind of, again, neglects or um, defeats any sort of defensive tech your opponent might have. Now, if you're a Jedi user and you've got Guardian, 
Guardian is another way after things got through, you know, let's say they got through the dot and cover step, Guardian lets you cancel hit results. Meaning if I have Guardian 2, I can try to cancel those two hit results. So I would throw uh, my matching defense dice. So let's say I, my unit rolls red defense dice. And let's say I roll one surge and one blank. If I surge to block, I block one of those. The other one would go through and the unit with guardian would suffer the wound. So more specifically, that's going to probably be a force unit or maybe it's Chewbacca on the rebel side. Um, but basically you're going to try to use your, your hero units that have more hit points to absorb some of those wounds off other units on your, on your team or on the table. So once you're, once the attacker is kind of done modifying the attack dice and the defender potentially is using deflect, now you actually start rolling defense dice. So you roll your defense dice, whether it's white or red, you, you know, convert surges to blocks if you have surge to block. But if you have an impervious keyword, and this goes back to our Pierce example, for impervious, you get to roll an extra defense dice for the number of Pierce that might be going through. So if, again, in my previous example, I said I'd pierce two. If I had a unit that has impervious, I would roll two additional defense dice because of the amount of pierce that's coming through, which again is pierce two. And this is regardless of hits or crits. So impervious, great keyword again from a defensive tech standpoint. And I'm not aware of any additional uh, defense dice keywords, but I, you know, I don't know every faction by heart. So if you know of any, you know, please post them in the comments below. And then finally you get to the modified defense dice step. And that's where I mentioned a few times, that's where Pierce comes in. So again, we're now the defender has rolled the defense dice. He's done, you know, surge to blocks or whatever. Now my Pierce can come in and be like, okay, I'm taking away those two blocks or maybe they don't roll any blocks, but these amount of shots are going through because of Pierce 2, like I used in my example, and you only rolled two blocks. And after you've kind of finally stepped through all of those, you know, main steps and sub steps, you start comparing results and then suffering wounds, if any. And then, of course, you apply suppression. If any hits did occur or if it's suppressive, a suppressive weapon, you would add two suppression tokens. All right, well, that does it for this quick video on the attack phase for Star Wars Legion. Please let me know your thoughts or comments down below. Did you like this style of video? Would you like to see more of a how to play or a rules type video or videos as it relates to Legion? I'm interested in your all's comments and feedback. But until the next time, hail to the Empire.